Hey, I'm Ted Vera. You know, lately I've been shooting just a lot of um, Fuji Films, uh, Neopan 100, Acros Film. Beautiful stuff. I've been shooting a lot of it lately. You know, from the very first roll of the stuff that I ever shot, man, I was hooked. So right away, I love the look of this film. You know, gorgeous shadow tones, um, just beautiful highlights. This instantly became um, my favorite film for shooting during daylight hours right? or uh, photo shoots where I could have complete control uh, over the light, you know, and also for a medium format. Man, uh, Acros is all I wanted to shoot for medium format. Just gorgeous results. I love this film. So yeah, Acros is easily my very favorite film for uh, shooting daylight scenes uh, or scenes with, just with good light, like photo shoots where I'm controlling the light, that kind of thing. And I have to qualify it that way because, you know, it is a 100 speed film, 100 ISO, and I'm already pushing it to 400. And I don't know if I want to push it much further than that. Um, plus, you know, when I go out and shoot my street stuff at night, that kind of stuff, I've been using Ilford's HP5+. Plus and pushing that to 1600, and I've had a lot of fun with that. So I just kind of figured um, Ed Gross will be my daytime film, and HP5 Plus will be my nighttime film, right? But then the last couple of days, I went for some walks downtown, and I decided just to go ahead and take Ed Gross, push it to 400, and see what I could get. I'd start off a little earlier, uh, late afternoon, early evening, around five or six o'clock at night, and then I would walk, stay out till uh, long after the sun had gone down. I'll go ahead and share some of those images with you here. So this is near the beginning of my walk. Like I said, probably between uh, five or six at night. You know, still plenty of light to shoot with. And it's that real um, even, smooth, uh, low contrast quality of light. There was a lot of overcast in the sky that day. But I think the film looks great, right? You've got those rich, dark tones and those smooth highlights, just beautiful. So gradually, you know, the sun is going down more, um, but that's a good thing, because now the lights are coming on, and so with each shot, you can get a little bit more contrast, right? And yeah, man, I think the film looks great. So by this point, the ambient light had gone down so much. So the artificial light is much punchier, much stronger. The, you know, the street lights, the signs, the car lights, you know, so there's more mood, more drama, right? More contrast. And you've got that subtle, fine grain, which is just beautiful. But man, what I love are those silky black tones you get with Acros. Man, that looks gorgeous at night. <laughs> man. So I'm a huge fan of Acros film, right? I love this stuff. Um, you know, it's not the perfect solution for any time you want to go out and shoot at night because I was having to keep my shutter speeds down. Um, you know, I shot a lot of it at 1 1 25th of a second. Boy, not bad, right? Um, then I'd go down to 1 60th of a second. Fine, that's, that's okay. Went down to uh, 1 30th of a second. <laughs> that's okay, right? 1 8th of a second was doable. Um, so if, if you're wanting to shoot any kind of action, that kind of stuff, yeah, you're going to need to have an higher, higher ISO, but, um, I love the way this film looks at night. I love the way it looks during the day and yeah, I, so I was just really happy to see what I could get with it shooting at night. Cause I do love to shoot at night anyway. Um, you know, if this seems like something that would be interesting to you, do it. I love the way these shots came out, the tones, the looks of the film. And, you know, just look for the most contrast you can get. If you're shooting at night, always look for the scenes that have the most contrast in them. Because that'll be more interesting than a scene with very little contrast. If you're shooting in the dark and you've got very little contrast, you're just going to have a bunch of dark images, right? Um, so look for, you know, really striking light sources. Uh, things that just give you that kind of mood and that feel of a real nice contrasty night scene. And... Acros pushed to 400. Um, I shot pretty much wide open at 2.0. 
the Sumicron 50, that's the widest aperture I can go. So 2.0 and those shutter speeds that I mentioned. So it's a lot of fun. Try it. Hey, I'm Ted Vieira. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll answer anything I can, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.